Look at this wind chime. My mother gifted this to me. Do you hear that? Isn't that heavenly? I even like this one here. What about this one here? Hello everyone, how have you been? Do you like the sweet sound of the bells or the wind chimes? I'm sure you do, right? So the American poet Edgar Allan Poe wanted to create an effect of the sound of the bells in his poem, The Bells. So he coined the term tintinabulation, tintinabulation. And that's your 347th word of a word of day challenge 2021. In his poem, he said, Tintinabulation that so musically wells from bells, 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 from the jingling and the tinkling of the bells. I had to count because he used bells, 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 seven times. All right. Tintinabulation has Latin roots and we have with us our lovely Sylvia to speak about it. Let's hear her out. Hello friends. The word of the day is tintinabulation. Tintinabulation is the sound of the bells and it derives from the Latin word tintinabulum. Tintinabulum in the Latin word was um, a rattle and was placed outside the house and uh, it uh, was usually designed as a fascinus. Tintinabulum uh, was uh, um, a structure uh, with uh, many bands that uh, were placed uh, outside the houses and uh, um, they sound with the wind blowing. It was said to have uh, magic powers. It was said to deliver uh, good luck and make uh, bad luck disappear. It was said to be uh, uh, a way to bring luck to the inhabitants of the houses. So I hope you all have uh, a, a big luck and uh, you can use a tintinabulum outside your houses. Thank you so much, my lovely Sylvia, for your amazing contribution. And you know what? We learned two Latin words from you. One, tintinabulation, of course. And the second one, tintinabulum, the word for the wind chimes. Thank you so very much, my dear. Thanks a lot. God bless you. Therefore, tintinabulation refers to the sound of the bells or any sound that resembles that of a bell, a bell-like sound. For example, tintinabulation of bangles, tintinabulation of swords, tintinabulation of utensils or spoons. For example, I can say that I don't like the tintinabulation of spoons. It hurts my eardrums. But I love the tintinabulation of the wind chimes. There could be a violent tintinabulation, for example, violent tintinabulation of utensils in your kitchen. Or there could be a sweet or melodious tintinabulation of wind chimes. Or there could be a faint or soft tintinabulation of the bells. Tintinabulation has its verb form and that is tintinabulate. All right. So, I can say that I am tintinabulating the bangles, okay, tintinabulating the bangles means I'm trying to make that sound, all right, so tintinabulate means to make a tinkling sound or to sound like bells. For example, you can say that Christmas is around the corner, jingle bells have started tintinabulating, so get your Christmas talking ready. Hello? What are you doing? I'm trying to pick up Argo Parts composition for Alina. Oh, Tintinabuli? Yes, it uses the Tintinabuli style. Okay, all right.
how do you feel it's really melodious yeah you're still practicing or is, do you think it's perfect i'm still practicing it's not perfect yet okay thank you so much thank you welcome okay god bless you thank you chintanabulation also has its significance in music because of the contemporary estonian composer arvo path it is believed that he was influenced by his mystical experiences he had spiritual goals so he simplified music and he invented his own his personal compositional style called tintina buli in 1976 he wrote a piece called furalina where he invented or he came up with this simple compositional style or technique called tintinabulation arvo path had said and i quote tintinabulation is an area i sometimes wander into when i'm searching for answers in my life my music my work in my dark hours i have the certain feeling that everything outside this one thing has no meaning the complex and many faceted only confuses me and i must search for unity what is it this one thing and how do i find my way to it further he said traces of this perfect thing appear in many guises and everything that is unimportant falls away tintinabulation is this the three notes of a triad are like bells and that is why i call it tintinabulation isn't that beautiful he said and i quote again I could compare my music to white light which contains all colors only a prism can divide the colors and make them appear this prism could be the spirit of the listener he also says that tintino beauty is the mathematically exact connection from one line to another he said that the secret of this technique is that the melody and the accompaniment are not two they are one coming back to tintinabulation it means the ringing or tinkling or jingling sound of bells or any sound that resembles that of a bell a bell like sound it also has its verb form which is tintinabulate and of course in past tense you can say tintinabulated and continuous tintinabulating keep learning stay blessed stay safe